This is a tutorial for New York City Population Fact Finder, the Department of City Planning's online application to facilitate access to census data. This tool allows users to easily define study areas within New York City and examine detailed population characteristics and how this information has changed over time. We'll begin by showing you how to define a study area and then examine the profile pages. If you're following along, FactFinder works best in Chrome or Firefox. The initial view provides a map of New York City. From here, you can select a census tract by left clicking, and you can add to or subtract from the selection. Using the query panel on the upper left, you can draw your study area and select intersecting tracks. You can clear a selection on the same panel, and you can select using a search radius tool. You can also use the search bar to find a variety of geographic features, like neighborhoods, institutions, or addresses. After searching, you will see your search result on the map, and then can make a selection accordingly. Under Advanced Options, you can overlay thematic maps of population characteristics like population density, or the subway system, or general boundaries. Under Advanced Options, you will also see Tooltips, which provide guidance on selected topics. Tooltips are found throughout the application. Users can also build study areas using census blocks, neighborhood tabulation areas, which are approximations of neighborhoods using tracts, or pumas, which are approximations of community districts using tracts. Here, two neighborhood tabulation areas that encompass the neighborhood of Bushwick are selected. You can examine population characteristics for this combination by clicking on View Profile. The initial default profile provides you with all of the basic demographic information for your area based on the latest American Community Survey, or ACS. So you get things like total population, age, and race. Each estimate is accompanied by a percent, except for non-count statistics like median age. The statistics for your selected area are shown in contrast to a comparison area. The default comparison area is New York City, but you can change it to any borough, Puma, or neighborhood tabulation area. Along with information about your selected area and the comparison area, you are also given the difference between the two areas, both the numeric difference and the percentage point difference. If an estimate is not statistically reliable, you will see it's grayed out as an alert that it's not precise and you should probably avoid using it. If you would like to examine background reliability information, you can click on Show Reliability Data. You can also see how a population characteristics have changed over time. Here, you are given the numeric change, percent change, and the percentage point change. Beyond these basic demographics, you can also access profiles showing social, economic, and housing characteristics. There are drop-down menus for each profile, so you can jump to a particular topic. You will also find bar charts on the right, showing your selected area in blue, contrasted against a comparison area shown with dots. Here, we also provide margin of error bars to give a sense of data precision. Beyond these four American Community Survey profiles, you can also examine information from the decennial census. From this profile, you will get basic demographics along with some housing information. Here, 
you'll never find a statistic grayed out as unreliable because the data are not derived from a sample. However, the information is all from 2010, so it's not as current as our ACS profiles. You can also see how a selected area has changed between 2000 and 2010. Unique URLs are created for each particular profile and study area, so you can save and share your work. And you can always return to the map view to modify your selected area. For further guidance on the app, please see our About, Features, and Data sections.